For the next type of gate, Stepage gate has to be one of the gates that is widely studied. All right. It has to be one of the gates that is most widely studied. Let me put it like that. Okay. So this Stepage gate, it has so many names. So some people call it neuropathic gate. Some people call it slap gate. Some people call it foot drop gate. All right. But let me tell you something. If you want to remember what a steppage gate is, just have this at the back of your mind. Big stepper. All right. So sometimes when you wear a very big shoe, for you to walk good with it, you have to be raising your leg very up before you drop it. So on the street, they actually call that a big stepper. All right. So steppage gate is more of like before you walk, you raise your leg. Okay. Yeah, you raise it high. Okay, and when you want to drop it, you slap it on the floor. So that's why they always also call it what slap gate. And it's a type of gate when mostly when your foot has a problem. So they can call it foot drop gate. Everybody knows what a foot drop is. Okay, so we'll talk about steppage gate from the definition to the characteristics to the causes to the diagnosis. Okay, of this gate. So from the definition, we see that steppage gate is also known as what neuropathic gate. Okay, also has another name, neuropathic gate. Steppage gate, neuropathic gate. All right. So it's characterized by high lifting of the leg and foot. So you lift the leg so high. Okay. So you are doing this to avoid dragging the toes on the ground. All right. So the gait pattern is typically associated with what foot drop which is a condition where the foot cannot be lifted properly. And this is due to what? Either weakness or paralysis of the muscles involved in what? Dozy flexion. So what is the characteristics of this gait? There's a high step. So the leg is lifted high than normal just to prevent the toes from dragging on the floor. Okay, there's a foot slap. So the foot may slap the ground upon landing and this is due to lack of control. There's toe drag. So without compensatory high stepping, the toes would actually drag on the ground. Then it says there's a compensatory or knee and leg, knee and hip flexion. Okay. So there's increased flexion at the hip and knee. Okay. That's when you try to lift the foot higher. Okay. So now what are the causes? It could be what? This is foot drop. Okay. Anything affecting the blood supply or nerves to the foot, so it could actually lead to what is steppage gait. So causes could be peripheral neuropathy. So conditions like diabetes, which can damage nerves, can be responsible for what steppage gait. The common perineal nerve injury is usually trauma or compression of the nerve, which controls the muscles that what dozy flex the foot. The neuromuscular disorder, so conditions like what Charcot's Marie Tooth disease or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, all of this can actually cause that. All right, then lumbar radiculopathy is usually compression of the what nerve roots in the lumbar spine can cause this. Diagnosis, so you have already seen the characteristics of a steppage gait. So once you see somebody with a steppage gait, you should know that it's actually what a steppage gait, okay? Let me just take a picture of something. All right. So for, diagnosis is just clinical observation. So you ask the patient to walk probably from the, from the bed to the gate. As a gate, uh, from the bed to the door, all right? So from there... You watch the patient gait so just to identify any high stepping or foot slap. Neurological examination, this one you are trying to access for muscle strength, reflexes and sensation in the affected leg. The electromyography, this one you are trying to measure for electrical activities of the muscles. And this one will help you to diagnose any nerve and muscle disorders. All right? Then imaging studies, this one is MRI or CT scan. This will help you identify any structural issues in the spine. Or peripheral nerves treatment you address the underlying cause so you manage conditions like what diabetes or you treat any nerve injuries okay 
if there's any. Physical therapy, you now be doing exercises to strengthen the affected muscles and improve the gait. Okay. Orthotic device. So things like what ankle foot orthosis. This one are trying to just support foot and improve walking. Okay. Surgical intervention. In some cases, surgery may be needed to what relieve nerve compression or repair damaged nerves. Okay. So for conclusion, we said that this tapest gate can significantly impact to the person's mobility and quality of life. All right. But with appropriate management, improvement can be made. All right. So that's it, guys, for Steve Gates.